there. Saturday the 8th of June, I opened the shop at 2pm just as the bookshop band arrived. They set up and started the gig at 3.30pm. They were wonderful. Blimey, I must have had it. <laughs> <laughs> they were doing a tour of Scotland and the north of England, and Elliot, Adrian, uh, John, um, persuaded them to come to Wigtown and perform in the shop. They brought their friend John along to give them a hand with setting up. Their USP is that they mainly play in bookshops, and all of their songs are based on books they've read. The shop was full for their gig. Callum brought his children along too. In the evening, once we'd eaten, uh, the instruments came out again and the wine and beer began to flow, and they sang folk songs, John's speciality. We drank and sang until 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought we'd have a go, just try and, like Sean's made, you know, made a book out of writing down his memories, so we thought we'd just have a go trying to write down our memories of that evening, because um, basically Sean was pretty much snoring and asleep through most of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. was a company. <laughs> the night we came to Wigtown, Scotland's famous book town, looking for a concert, well how else would we find it? We played in the bookshop and never wanted to stop Then came down the tees and we sold a bunch of CDs The night we came to Wigtown, Scotland's famous book town Everybody's in town, Adrian's up from London Bottles started opening, birthdays we were toasting A good excuse as any to celebrate The night we came to Wigtown, Scotland's famous book town Candles lit for supper, so we headed up the there's to Sean's kitchen table we were eating Out comes the banjo and H.A. man Red wine it was flowing, drinking to the morning Singing silly songs and dancing in our long jobs Sean was slurring, we started exploring Looking through the book's horny Sean shelf of porn He says it's for his punters But you can't help but wonders Discovering the train sets underneath the carpets Harmonies and cartwheels Two beds in the pulpits Stumbling and giggling Sleeping, Sean is dribbling Everyone is very wasted For a Sunday, we slept in for two days while Sean got up on Monday. He opened up the shop and he wrote in his diary some things he forgot, they just slipped out his memory. Then his book got bought, so now he's an author. But our entry is too short, and we think that we ought to explain to everyone what really went on while Sean was asleep and snoring. <laughs> Scotland's famous book town Now we've moved to Wigtown So we can expose him The night we came to Wigtown Scotland's famous book town Now we've moved to Wigtown So now we can expose him Right, everyone has a